Nicole Soga, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 16th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 1. This is from the Blue Book app. Number 16 reads, the number of bacteria in the liquid medium doubles every day. There are 44,000 bacteria in a liquid medium at the start of the observation. Which choice represents the number of bacteria Y in the liquid medium T days after the start of the observation? Well, there's two ways to know the answer to this question. Um, one way is if you know the model, initial value goes on the outside. The inside is one plus or minus the decimal equivalent of the percent, and the expo exponent is some form of time. So when we look at our answer choices, the initial number of bacteria is 44,000. We know that's got to be to the left of the parentheses. Looking at your answer choices, you could see that A and B are gone. Um, so we're left with C and D. And then when it says that the bacteria doubles, then you know that it's got to be answer choice D. So that's one way, it's five second way to do it. You know you could do it just by looking at the answer choices. Otherwise, what else could you do? And this goes for any one of these, we would call these, I call them exponential form. Any one of these types of questions, another approach you could do is you could pick a value for t. Um, let's say t equals zero. No time has passed. If no time has passed, um, that would be at the start of the observation, which would be 44,000. And anything to the zero power is one. So if you plug that into answer choice A, you get 44,000 to the zero, which is one times a half. You get one half. But when t equals zero, we should get 44,000 bacteria because that's what it is at the start of the observation. If we plug into B, we get two, that's gone. We plug into C and D, we get 44,000. So we keep those. And then if we make our T equal one, it's gonna double every day. So after the first day, we would expect 88,000. And then when you plug one into each answer choice, we wind up getting 88,000 for answer choice D and for none of the others. And of course, you could plug these all into Desmos um, if you have trouble figuring out the answer yourself or if it's just easier and quicker to do that. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with exponential form questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.